So we have been, we're actually on day three, but our days one and two, learning intention still fits. Okay? Because yesterday, kind of, we didn't get as far as we wanted to get. We're just going to forget about yesterday and move forward. So what are we learning to do? Someone read our learning intention for us loud and clear. Amani. We are learning to develop our problem solving skills, be coached, and to cope with
Talk at your table groups first. What's the task? Um, Tristan. Um, in our group we talked about that we're supposed to work on this paper as a group, not leaving anyone out, and finding the strategies to solve the problem. Nice. Okay, I love that you answered my sentence with a complete sentence. You restated and said, in our group we talked about. That was awesome. And don't leave anyone out. Like, those aren't even two mathy things we talked about. Don't leave anyone out. Do the work. Talk about the problems. Awesome. Yeah. Do we all have to have exactly the same work on our paper? No. No. You can. You don't have to. Okay? Are we clear? Yeah. I don't want to talk anymore. I want you guys to have plenty of time to work.
I thought it was a thousand. Because if it was a hundred, then Miss Miss Saunders would have drank all over. She would have drank over as many drinks as she could. two success criteria today. We said we're successful one, and the first one was we choose a strategy and solve a problem. Show me thumbs up or thumbs down. Was your group successful with that today? Deciding at least once. Some of you probably did it more than once. Some of you really persevered. I don't see a thumb. Some of you really persevered on one problem. There were a couple groups. I don't know what you saw, Mrs. Corcoran, uh -huh. but I was with a couple that really stuck with one and really tried to work their way through it, which is good. You have time to do that. It wasn't a timed activity. Okay, good. So lots of thumbs up. Awesome. Um, who felt better today that they got to work with people compared to the other day where you worked 10 minutes totally by yourself? Okay. Okay. Give me a word. Remember Tuesday I said give me an adjective? Tell me an adjective to describe how it felt today working with a group. On Tuesday you told me an adjective to describe how it felt working alone for 10 minutes. How did it feel working with a group? I'm just going to go around and point. You can put your hands down. I'm just going to go around and point or say your name. Loud so we can hear. Fun. Fun. Alea. Awesome. Awesome. A little challenging. That was three words, but I'll give it to you. A little challenging. Easy. Easy. Better. Good. Good. I agree. I think it was fun for me. I know you guys are going to think that this sounds really mean, but it's fun for me to watch you struggle. What? It's fun. You guys want to come up and you want to, is this right? Did I get the right answer? Are we doing this right? And I love to sit and, and make you talk about things and make you struggle. <laughs> and I, um, I agree with Mrs. C. You guys should be proud of yourselves today. Let's talk about the second one real quick. The problem-solving stuff is good. Um, reasoning about converting measurements. Thumbs up or thumbs down? How did you feel that you and your group did with reasoning? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thinking about... Okay, so this one we have, some people are sideways. This one a little more of a struggle. But a good struggle, sometimes that's when the learning happens. Yes.